Americans spend more than a, a billion dollars on blood thinning drugs every year. And despite their benefits, these medications can actually have some serious side effects. In today's HealthCast, Local 10 Medical Specialist Christy Krueger has information on some newer and possibly safer drugs. Wouldn't that be a good thing? Well, blood thinners are used to treat all kinds of conditions that put people at risk for blood clots, including strokes, heart attacks, even something called deep vein thrombosis. Now, while these drugs can be life-saving, cardiologist Dr. Bernard Ashby says that many who could benefit from them are really scared away by TV commercials that talk about all those side effects. Dr. Ashby says there are some new drugs on the market, though, that have been very carefully studied and are safer than those old problematic drugs, especially one called warfarin. The information that you receive watching TV is that these medications are harmful to folks and the data just doesn't uh, support that. In fact, the data shows that uh, compared to warfarin, uh, these agents are just as safe and if not in certain, under certain circumstances, safer, uh, meaning that you have less risk of bleeding on these agents. All right, so Ashby says the patients should talk with their doctors about the risks and the benefits of these newer blood thinners. And another drug used to erase wrinkles is also raising some, some concerns today. A recent study suggests that the popular drug Botox, also known as Dysport, may travel beyond the treatment site, reaching nearby neurons. Plastic surgeon Jacob Freeman says that the study done in mice doesn't necessarily translate to people. If you look at the fact that Botox is the most commonly done a cosmetic procedure in the United States. Around 7 million people a year get Botox. Uh, and there are almost no complications from this. There's no distant problem, usually. Um, it's very, very, very rare. Uh, and Botox is extremely safe. Dr. Fryman points out that the botulism toxin has even been used in large amounts to treat patients with some really serious medical conditions, including chronic pain and even paralysis, with no adverse effects at all. With your HealthCast, I'm Christy Krueger.